there are lots of homes in the market in Discovery right now. So let's do a super quick Discovery tour. First property is on Revelation and this does not qualify for financing, which means it might be a little rocky in there. Okay, all peeling and chipping paint on the exterior. That's a quick way to have issues with a lot of loans. I can't tell if it's bad or good on the inside. The floor's not bad. The smell's not bad. But there are definitely some parts. Oh, heavens. Okay. I mean, again, some parts that are awful. Some parts that are just not bad at all. Yeah, that shit is not helping any financing and a lot of these situations are just not helping. But you know, it could be worse. Okay, floors are a little retro. Um, way retro, original windows, and just, I mean, it's whatever. Not as bad as I was expecting though. The one thing that is definitely gonna kill this is the price point. If it can't be financed by loans, then you're looking at somebody who's gonna have to pay for this with cash. And if you're only like 40 or $50,000 off from market value, it's not low enough. Nobody's sitting around with $270,000 cash saying, oh, I gotta have this. We went from down there to down here to our next property, also on Revelation. Okay, this is super nice. Maybe just where I was before, but ooh, we love this. Yes, I sold some townhouses over here that have the same kitchen layout. Smells nice. It actually smells like new carpet, which we love to see it. Backyard looks cute. Deck could use a little work, but it's not the worst I've seen. Okay. Guys, this is super nice. I wish this had been around when I was buying. Look at that, four bedrooms, wow. Pretty rare around here. Nice bathroom. Are there any other bathrooms in here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this is cute. This one just came on the market. They're having an open house. I definitely predict it'll be gone very, very soon. I'm in front of a single family home listing here in, on Triumphant Court in Discovery, and um, I can kind of see what the issue is. Number one, uh, there was some scuttlebutt about making an appointment. Number two, it is priced, if it were to sell, it would be the highest price listing to have ever sold um, in this neighborhood ever, which you don't want to be. And it is very hard to achieve. And not only that, but um, there are people inside when you want to go. That's why I didn't like film while I was inside. Very off-putting. Nobody wants to be watched while you're looking at someone's house and kind of, you know, cosplaying being inside of it and living there um and also they brought in comps they probably brought in my house as a comp they probably brought in houses from the other areas of walkersville and from like winterbrook in and you just can't do that there are plenty of comps in this neighborhood and when you are 50 grand above every house that is sold in this neighborhood you gotta look at yourself and figure out what's going on and now i'm here on inspiration court this one's been sitting for a while but i think my clients might love it bit of a funky entrance to the basement and uh but here we go wow this is nice um about that but we're just gonna pretend like it didn't we're just gonna put oh god all right but honestly let's turn on some lights in here it's beautiful just some really like larger cosmetic things that are just like that you got to get over but when you're asking for top dollar in this neighborhood you better be given top dollar let's see oh, okay no mirror, that's great, all right. All right, this is okay-ish. Carpets are low-key a wreck. So, they, oh God, paint job is a wreck. But honestly, for the right person, disaster. It wouldn't be so bad. Beautiful closet. Is this another closet? Heck yeah. They should have put a little bit more effort into sprucing it up so that they could have gotten top dollar. The pink is a bit much. The green is a bit much. Um, let's go look at the outside. 
yeah, okay, it's a little jumbly. The deck is a little crumbly. So I know what the agent did here. They priced it off of the highest price listing that has sold in this neighborhood without a finished basement. How do I know? Because I was the buyer's agent on that. So they priced it off of that without taking to an account, into account that that person had their home staged immaculately for showings. And this is not immaculate. It's not anything that people can't look past, but it makes a difference when you're coming in and you're looking at the house. I mean, just like, look at that lines on the ground like it's just not and then the the carpets are actually filthy and need to be replaced as soon as possible so I'd be interested to see how much this goes for I've been negotiating to see if my clients can get in I'm not sure how far we're gonna get with that because they're being a little fiddly on price but we'll see and now we're on Eureka Lane which I have sold a house here I really love it um, I like how it's kind of tucked back here oh awesome they moved out great okay kitchen blast from the past a um, little bit of a blast from the past although that's cute I like the color scheme on that one okay anyway um, that's not part of the house new carpet we love to see it new paint we love to see it yes you can tell that they did what they were supposed to do as far as renovations here oh yay and it's got a basement nice open big um, newer windows, I think. No, no, just kidding. Those are just old stickers. Um, a little deck. The yard is adorbs. The carpet is new. It smells good down here. It doesn't smell weird or wet. Nobody cares about the HVAC except for me. Little storage room back here. It looks a little important note. Water is super, super hard here in Walkersville. So a lot of people have filters that don't let it throw you off, but it's definitely necessary. Wow, this townhouse gets so much light. I've never seen one with this window on the side. This is incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and they made two rooms here. Well, I don't know if that's the vibe, but okay. I'm trying to figure out if that was a good idea or not, but this is like a gorgeous double room and I cannot get over the amount of light. Never seen these amount of light in Discovery. Oh, here's the other bathroom. Okay, some upgrades. So considering that some of the other houses in Walkersville that have no basements are at $299.9, I think the pricing on this is just right. I hope someone scoops it up and I hope someone loves it. And I hope people don't get very weird about this kitchen being a little bit dated because honestly, it is a tiny kitchen. It would cost like almost no money to bring it to what it needs to be. Um, that window, I know that it's just one window, but it's unique. It's something that I've never seen. The amount of light in this townhouse is incredible compared to the other ones that we've seen, compared to any of the ones that I've ever seen in Discovery. I love this. And I might also bring a client here because I'm thinking now this is pretty much magical. That concludes our discovery tour. What have we learned? It's almost impossible to get, it is actually impossible to get townhomes in this condition in Frederick for this price range. So why not just move a quick 10 minutes max outside of Frederick to Walkersville and get the benefits of owning a gorgeous townhome like this for $300,000 um, to me, it's a no brainer. What about you? If we're talking single family homes, then you need to know and you need to price it right because somebody's going to say, well, for almost $500,000, I could stick around in Frederick and they can do it. So pricing is everything. Realizing what the pricing is in Walkersville and what the prices are from street to street, neighborhood to neighborhood. It's very important.